the long history of humanity, and across various worlds within the Imperium, the human race has mutated and evolved into a variety of stable species known as abhumans. Abhumans are tolerated to a varying degree within the Imperium depending upon the strain in question, due to the fact that they are seen as being close enough to humans biologically to be accepted, and while during the time of the Great Crusade, attitudes were more lenient towards abhumans, allowing species such as beastmen to potentially hold ranking positions such as sergeant or colonel within the Imperial Guard for example. However, in the current darkness of the 41st millennium, only a few species such as ogrins and ratlings are tolerated by the Imperium at large, and in some cases, such as with organisations such as the Ecclesiarchy, only barely. Given the fact that humans and abhumans are related, could the strains potentially interbreed and produce hybrid offspring? From an initial glance, it would seem unlikely that such an act could occur. However, when looking at other creatures, it is possible for them to produce interspecific hybrid offspring. Interspecific hybrids are hybrids between different species within the same genus. For example, lions Panthera leo, are able to breed with tigers Panthera tigris, to produce hybrid offspring known as ligers. Another common example is the hybridization of donkeys Equus africanus asinus, breeding with horses Equus ferus caballus, to produce mules. This should not be confused with intraspecific hybrids, which are hybrids between different subspecies within a species, such as between a Bengal tiger or a Siberian tiger. However, these interspecific unions tend to rarely occur within the wild, occurring mostly during controlled situations within captivity. However, abhumans as sentient species wouldn't have to necessarily rely on chance, and could potentially seek out other human related strains with which to copulate. Abhumans would appear capable of interbreeding with other human strains to produce interspecific hybrid offspring from a taxonomic perspective. While abhumans are separate species of human, the fact of the matter is that biologically they are in fact human. Homo sapiens gigantus, Homo sapiens minimus, Homo sapiens rotundus, etc. are all classified as being genetically close and stable enough to humans to be classified scientifically as the same species from a taxonomic perspective, the same way lions and tigers are both panthera, or horses and donkeys are both equus. While separate genus, they come from a shared family tree, and are more closely related to humans than humans are with their current closest living relatives, chimpanzees. The least natural coupling to occur with the main abhuman strains would be with ogrins and any other human species due to their sheer size in comparison with other abhumans, although admittedly ogrins do have a large number of subspecies such as Alpha, Theta, Type 4, Type 7a, Homo sapiens gigantus gigantus, Homo sapiens gigantus chronopus, and the mysterious grey ogrins. Ogrins themselves evolved in high gravity worlds, and as a result became enormous compared to other human species. While ogrins have been known to live on other planets as labourers, such as the population within the Frax system, that over generations it's entirely possible for the species to adapt to a world that isn't as cold or harsh, and over time become smaller, unless it proves disadvantageous to do so. Which could make it much more feasible for an ogrin to produce offspring with another human strain. The most likely candidate to attempt to interbreed with other human strains, however, would come from ratlings. Ratlings are a diminutive abhuman strain, their ancestors having become stunted by thousands of years of inbreeding on worlds with naturally soporific climates and abundant harvests. Aside from being great marksmen and even better cooks, the defining characteristics of ratlings are their gregarious, hedonistic natures and the fact that they are also sexually promiscuous, procreating uncontrollably like the rodents that are their namesake. They are also, while shorter than regular humans, are not considered too drastic in size to be biologically incompatible compared to an ogryn, for example although given the parentage, the offspring could potentially be too large to bear if the mother is a rattling, and could result in various defects and deformities. One of the few known cases of interspecific breeding between various strains of humans comes from between Homo sapiens and Homo navigo, or more commonly known as navigators. Navigators are an artificially created abhuman species that originated from the Dark Age of Technology, possessing what is known as the navigator gene which gives them the unique ability to navigate through warp space, as well as bearing a third eye, commonly known as the warp eye on their foreheads. This allows them to perceive the psychic light of the Astronomicon, enabling them to fully use their powers in guiding ships through the currents of the warp. Aside from the third eye, some navigators also possess additional mutation, 
such as near translucent skin, tall spindly frames or oversized pitch black eyes. Their ability to sense the tides of the warp is considered psychic, although navigators never possess any psychic abilities beyond the powers their warp eye gives them. They are also extremely long lived by human standards, with lifespans as long as 400 years old. As they increase in age, their abilities increase in power and their physical appearance also changes. The white and iris of the eyes gradually disappears, leaving only a hardened blackened orb. However, navigators are kept safely away from the bulk of human society, due to humanity's inherent mistrust of mutants and psychers. However, it is known that navigators and regular humans have interbred on at least a few occasions, for it was discovered that when a navigator breeds with an ordinary human, the offspring does not inherit the navigator gene. This factor has led to the development of closely related and presumably incestuous navigator families. So yes, at the very least, with certain strains, it seems highly likely that interspecific breeding between the various strains of human species can in fact occur. But the bigger question is, would the offspring of such unions ever be allowed to live? While certain offspring could potentially pass off for human, albeit just humans who are tall, short, ugly, etc., the offspring of other species, such as potential hybrid offspring between humans and beastmen, would be more than likely killed upon birth, along with the child's parents, for the heresy of diluting humanity's already delicate gene pool. Thanks for watching.